Hello everyone, this is going to be a video uh, how I set up my Raspberry Pi 3 as a Kodi media uh, player uh, similar to other streaming devices such as a uh, Roku and an Amazon Fire Stick. Let's get to it. What is a Raspberry Pi? The Raspberry Pi is a credit card sized computer that was developed a few years ago in the United Kingdom by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Think about your basic desktop PC or motherboard being trunked down to the size of a credit card. What makes a Raspberry Pi special is the affordable price and the small footprint that allows the convenience of portability and the flexibility of many uses. It is a capable tiny computer which can be used for many different projects, such as programming in Python, retro gaming console, robotics, web server, music jukebox, home security camera, and high definition media center, which I will be using for in this project. Th these are just a few of the many Raspberry Pi projects you can do. The reason why I prefer the Raspberry Pi over the over other streaming devices is well I can customize it how I want and if I ever get tired of using it as a streaming device I can always use it for a different purpose. I can also overclock the processor in the Raspberry Pi which I might do down the line. But most importantly it's, uh, it's a fun project for me, it's a fun hobby. For this project we will need the following items. The Raspberry Pi 3 and this is actually the latest Raspberry Pi that's out there right now. Uh, it has built in Wi-Fi and built in Bluetooth. This is what the board looks like. Uh, it has your HDMI port, audio out port, Ethernet port, four USB ports, and below here is the SD slot to insert the SD card. You're going to need your 5 volt power adapter to power up the device. You're going to need your enclosure to protect the board itself, your heat sink to keep it running cool. An SD card at least of minimum size of 8 gigabytes to load the, the Noob software. Your, your HDMI cable. And you're going to need uh, something to control the device. So you can use a wireless keyboard, a mouse. In this case, I'm going to use the Re wireless keyboard. It has a touchpad built in. Here's the dongle for it. And I can insert this into one of the USB ports. Alright, so I'm going to put the Raspberry Pi together. I'm going to install the heat sink and the enclosure. Um, just for the sake of keeping this video short, I'm going to time like the video, alright? So here we go.
Alright guys, so this is what it looks like. Uh, this is the whole purpose of Noobs. So I can install, uh, so it'll show you um, multiple operating systems here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to change the language. We're going to scroll down and uh, just select the one that applies to the country. So in this case it's going to be um, US. Alright, now I'm going to go to the OSMC software. And I'm going to install it from here. Alright, so you're going to get this message. Hit yes. And you just got to let it do its thing. Alright, it's still downloading. Alright, so it's completed downloading and extracting the files. So then it's now installed successfully. So it's, it's, it's rebooting. And as you can see, there's the OSMC logo. Okay, so the installation completed. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to the, um, to the classic Kodi uh, user interface. See, that's the one that um, everyone's used to uh, seeing. And there it is. And just um, checking for updates. It's going to hit no for now. And this is the, the classic Kodi view that everyone's uh, used to seeing. Okay, so... Um I already hooked up, uh, hooked up the Raspberry Pi to the TV. That's what it looks like. It's all set up. Um, this is Cody. I, I configured Cody the way I want it to. Um, there's still a ton of videos out there on how to configure Cody. I didn't make a video about how to configure Cody, but there's a ton of Jutsu videos out there. But yeah, this is what it looks like here. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.